Yo, I'm Ryan Fila, and today I'm in a tiny little town in Haiti getting my hair cut by a kid who's been cutting hair for five years and never cut white hair. Let's see how it goes. Okay, really quick before we get into this Haiti haircut, I just wanna mention that I dropped my first two NFT photography pieces and they're live now. They're only 10 per photo, but once you buy them, that means you have full rights to the full res image, not just the screenshot you can take right now. With the full res image, you can take it to any printing service anywhere in the world and get that thing blown up and put on your wall and it will look beautiful. Link is of course in the description below and that's enough of that, let's get to Haiti. We came by yesterday talking about getting our hair cut so we're gonna stop at this barber shop that's on our walk every day. And get our haircut from yeah. my man right here for about a dollar fifty. Christopher's already started. He said this is the best barber shop in Chambelan. The owner of the barber shop was just telling me that this place is also an automotive store. And he's gonna sell drinks. That's what he just got this freezer for. You get the three in one. Get your hair cut, get a muffler, and get a Coke on your way out. Okay. Men with beard can't be ugly. Good? Let's see how he does. See if you can film and translate at the same time. Will you ask him, so take it from a zero to a four. Alex, I come to you. I pass it to you. Pull back up the shoe. If he screws it up, that's all right. At least he's learning. He ain't even nervous. He just went straight for it. This man is trying all sorts of new things. Team effort. Kind of get front to back like this is a completely new concept. The uh, other guy, ask him if he's cut white hair before. Bloody Jeff. Oui. Oui? Uh, yes. yes. How many times? Um, two, two times. Two times? Yeah. Nice. How long have you been cutting hair? Six, six years. This kid's gonna be a pro. Ask him how old he is. 18. So he's been cutting hair since he was 13? Yes. Oh yeah, okay. Ask him if this is what he wants to do, like if he loves cutting hair. Is what I suppose all of say now? No, no, no. No? No. What's he want to do? He's still in, in school. For what? Like high school. Does he cut hair to pay for his schooling? No. Yes, he's working because the barber is not for him. He's working and get money to pay his school. <laughs> is there alcohol or no? Alcohol, uber alcohol. Mm. The hot, sticky, and sweatiest haircut I ever got. But it looks good. Can I get? Can I borrow this? This for my eyebrow. So much sticky hair in my mouth, though. As a white male who grew up in the United States and has been the majority for most of my life, I find opportunities like this fascinating. I'm completely immersed in a place that's pretty much hidden from everyone I know back home. Nearly every experience I have here is unique, and getting my hair cut by a kid who's never cut hair from someone who looks like me was no exception. Merci. How you feel, bro? Feel good, bro. Sheesh! Sheesh! Bomba guy. All right, now we're fresh cut up. My head is even more exposed to the sun. And it's time to get in the river for our last bath and get some of this hair off of us. You ready for our last bath, bro? Yes, bro. Our last river bath? Yes, bro. I just like, I'm living like this. Like, it's, ah! It is kind of cold, bro. Huh? It's way colder, bro. I got to get all the way in. The people are so friendly out here. I say good morning or unpum. They yes. like light up and say hi back. Haiti is is a nail paradise. People living in Haiti um will 
would understood. Mais de la glauque où il a joué moi, m'a changé. Et il la caille moi, quand c'est mes Bon. How does he do that? He can't see? I don't know, bro. That's why he what? He might come step, step on you. Oh! <laughs> That's why it was not his fault. He wasn't kidding. Tell these kids I gotta get out of the sun before I roast. If you've made it to this point, you literally just watched an entire video of me getting a haircut and taking a bath. While I was editing this video, I couldn't help but think about how turning stones and getting outside of our comfort zone and pushing our limits externally and internally doesn't always mean that we have to go pay a guide to go into the Amazon rainforest or sleep in an abandoned building. It can be as simple as getting a haircut in a foreign place. And the word foreign is loose. There's probably a community full of people that you know very little about within one hour from you, full of foreign people to you. I challenge you to go out, drive to a foreign community and get a haircut there. Getting outside of your comfort zone is literally that simple. It's not always easy, but it can be that simple. Now this is the second video in my Haiti series. If you haven't seen the first video, I'd love if you went back and checked it out. I think to date, it's the best story I've told on YouTube so far. As for the next video, I'll be showing you where chocolate comes from. I couldn't believe what the fruit itself looked like and that the byproduct tasted like Starburst to me. But stay tuned for that video. And until next time, you try to live your dream and I'll see you there. Peace.